Hi, this is Tom. This is the Mount Robson video vlog, I guess. Um, it is August 2nd, 2012. Just finished my seventh trip up uh, Berg Lake, this time going all the way up to uh, the chains on Snowboard Pass, as well as uh, Toboggan Falls and Hargraves Lake. Thoughts and ideas on the Berg Lake Trail. Berg Lake Trail is amazing, beautiful, there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it uh, anywhere that I've been. Uh, long, 23 kilometers to Berg Lake itself. Uh, depending on the weather, it can make it a lot longer. The first time I came out here, it was uh, early May. So, what are we talking? It was uh, still about a foot of snow on the whole trail it was all pretty much uh, hard going the trees were still covering the trail probably covering uh, 2k an hour so I did a couple trips up here like that uh, pushing further and further up uh, the furthest I ever made in the snow was the top Emperor Falls uh, and then since then it's been pretty much clear all the way up to uh, up to Berg Lake except for uh, one of the times when the uh, passage between Marmot and Berg Lake was uh, snowed in. I believe that was the end of May, the beginning of June. Um, the trail itself is very, very good, all the way up to Berg Lake. And when you get to Berg Lake, you're at the Hargrave Shelter anyway, so it's not too bad. Of course, unless you're in excellent shape and you start off at four o'clock in the morning, no matter what you do, you're gonna have to camp overnight, making it uh, a little more difficult than uh, some of the other trails around here uh, what I mean by that is the other national parks so Jasper Banff um, Glacier National Park where you can just basically walk off an hour and you're in the high mountain at Berg Lake uh, you're gonna be walking for eight hours before you're in the high mountain but uh, as I said there's nothing quite like Mount Robson I've been to uh, Everest but uh, the scale of the mountain is uh, truly impressive and it gives uh, an amazing objective to one day climb uh, I would recommend this trail for anybody it's uh, it's a pretty good go only to about Kinney Lake, I guess, with uh, small children. Everywhere else, you uh, pretty much need to be in, in excellent shape or uh, at least have a Sherpa. Uh, Mount Robson, though, of course, if you haven't done your uh, research, lots of rain. Last night, spent uh, 14 hours in the rain. Probably the longest I've ever spent in a shelter, except for uh, my first night ever winter soloing on the winter solstice. <laughs> Of all days, spent a solid 16 hours in the shelter. Uh, I apologize for all the background noise. I'm at the side of the road right now. Can't tell. Um, what else? Yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I'm feeling right now. If I uh, wanted to record this last note though before I lose the beard, my seven trips to Mount Robson have been lost. Uh, in in terms of hours spent, I guess that's 56 hours worth of transport from uh, Kamloops to Mount Robson, as well as probably about 10 to 14 days in the in the backcountry. So I feel I know it pretty well, but uh, to be perfectly honest, I, I never came here to uh, do the Berg Lake Trail. I came here to climb Mount Robson, but uh, of course. Mount Robson is uh, extremely difficult. And the more time I spend here, the more I realize how difficult it is going to be. Especially trying to find that perfect weather window. As I said, it rained last night, but that's not the first time it's rained. I would say... Whew, 70 percent of the time it's cloudy. 90 percent of the time you can't see the summit of Mount Robson. And, uh, Maybe 30% of the time it's raining, so it's uh, it's wet. So as long as you're prepared for that kind of stuff, uh, it's not too bad at all. It's not too bad at all. Again, uh, in terms of wildlife hazard, I don't think I've addressed this yet actually. 
Um, for people who haven't been to the mountains before, it is fearsome for sure, especially when you get out of your car and you just start marching and there is no medical help for 40 clicks till the nearest uh, first aid stop and then uh, about 80 to 100 clicks to Jasper, which would be the closest hospital. Uh, so first you'd have to walk out anyways to get to your car to get there. If you, if you did it as I did and you're waiting for the bus at the side of the road, you basically uh, are shit out of luck, especially without a emergency transmitter. Although I do rock flares so that if I can get close to the road I can signal uh, emergency. Back to the original point of wildlife though. Um, I've seen a deer, I've seen some mountain goats, haven't yet to see a bear though. And the amount of fear I, I see in people's eyes sometimes, and I gotta admit, like the first time I came out here, I was so afraid of bears everywhere I went. I thought it was second I got on this trail, 10 bears are gonna come up, eat my head or something. I don't know. Now I just spent 200 nights out there by myself in a half shelter and managed to get through it. Um, so it's not that bad. You just, TI as they say, you just need time in the mountains. And uh, those other things seem less, uh, less fearsome. Anyways, I hope uh, shaky cam isn't too much for the viewer and I hope uh, people learn a little bit about Mount Robson from uh, my time and experience up there. And uh, yeah, don't be afraid of the animals as long as you're smart, right? Rock the bear bells, sing to yourself, do whatever you gotta do. Uh, the trail itself is well maintained, beautiful. Um, 10, 10 out of 10. What recommended for everyone. Tom, signing off.